Hiya, welcome back to another video. Um, today, we're going to try and rectify an issue, which is that sometimes when I come out to my car, there's, you know, stuff like this and, and stuff like that is all just flicked about because this door doesn't, this door doesn't lock. Uh, that, that one doesn't either, um, but I'm not really bothered about that one. I mean, you can lock it with a, lock it like this, but it doesn't lock with the key from outside. And then what seems to be happening is um, passing bag heads seem to be trying car door handles and then looking through the car and realising there's nothing worth nicking in it but making a mess and touching my stuff. So I'm going to try and put them off. So let's show you what the issue is. <laughs> So this is our problem. This lock. Now I might add, I haven't got a new lock for this. I'm gonna try and see what I can do with that. And I probably won't be able to do anything with it, but I will be taking it off and putting it back on. So it, uh, nothing else, it'll be able to change it. Anyway, so that's shagged. So if I lock the car, which you've got to lift the handle up, when you shut the door, there we go. I can lock it, but I can't unlock it. So now to get in, I've got to do either one or two things. The first one is going through here and I've got to put these down, pull the seats forward. And this is great when it's like raining and what have you like it is now. And then you've got to reach across. And then we're unlocked. We're locked again. And the second method is a more sort of common old-fashioned car thief method. Now, with the correct modification, even this coat hanger can work, as you can see. Um, they're not the most secure cars, so if someone wants to break into it, I mean, they're going to be able to anyway, because I'm not even good at doing that, and I can do it. So, let's see what we can do to rectify it. We'll just put this back on before we start, because these don't need any help leaking water in so let's put that back on now let's get some tools so just on a side note do you ever see something that you just have to have um these were advertised to me um on, i think on facebook or something i don't know if it's browsing history or whatever they target you but yes they are one-to-one -one scale penis valve caps dust caps and they look superb Right, so to get at it, we want to take this panel off. And normally I would do that with the door open that stood outside the car. But as you can see, it's lovely and January. So I'm going to do what I can from inside here. Um, I haven't checked to see what holds this on yet. It might just be a pulley off the one. It might be one with a clip in it, but I'll find out when either I break it or it comes off. It might be a clip in that one. I'll have to have a look at that. Um, now, other than that, what holds it on? It'll have poppers around it, which we won't be able to do from here. This wants to come off. This, I've already released. Um, yeah, if you get a... Get something under here and start pulling it out, which I did before I started filming, then it'll come off, but it just clips off. So we've got Phillips screws at the... the somewhere around there. Is it there? Yep. Yeah. And there. So let's go and ask Phil for a screwdriver. Phil, is it all right to use your screwdriver? I said it, it's all right. Cheers. It's all right. Yeah. All right, so I've got Philip's screwdriver here, and we'll start by taking these screws out and trying not to drop them. So we'll put them in a safe location. Uh, this is, um, I'm not left-handed, but this is a left-handed screwdriver, so I'm having to use my left hand on it. I mean, it's not just because I'm holding it for me, my right hand, it's you know, obviously a left-handed screwdriver. So we'll take these shitters out, and then we shall progress. 
Yeah, this is longer than I thought it was going to be. Hold on. Right, so that's the screws out. Right, to get to anything else, I do need the door open, so it doesn't look like we've got a choice of whether we're going to get wet or not. First. Now these sometimes do pull off, but sometimes you have like a little clip that you have to get behind with and pull the clip out first. Let's see what type that is. Right, so we've got the screws out and as you can see, it's getting lovely and wet. Now you should use a plastic trim tool for this and if it was a decent car, I would be doing, but I'm not that bothered on this. So just bear in mind, if you scratch yours doing this, I did say that you are supposed to use a trim removal tool, but I ain't got one with me, so I can't. Oh, I don't want to go in there, does it? Yes. There we go. Now once you've got it moving, because my phone's getting wet, it keeps on pressing the button and then it keeps on stopping recording. So I don't know what I've got there, but I've just basically got a screwdriver in that gap, pulled it off and then just pulled this off. And now it's just being held on by this. So I'm gonna have a look to see how that's held on. Right, well, as you can see, I haven't taken this off. It is the clip type one where you've got to get like a little hook in um, and pull the clip out to pull this off. Um, and they're a pain in the ass and I realise that I just don't need to. But what I do have to do is take this off without making the carpus watering. So let's have a look into that too. Right, now then, this car, this, this vapour barrier, I've just peeled it back without just cutting it because I ain't got a new one to put on it. So afterwards, I'm just gonna have to do something to stick it back on, otherwise I'm gonna be the foot well full of water. Um, I don't think that's OEM anyway, because this is, well, that's not OEM, is it? Uh, anyway, that is the lock. So that's the bit that I want to take out. So it's got a rod connecting it, which is there, that bit. And it has that which needs to be pulled out to remove it. So the rod is in a certain orientation should pull out. This it needs pulling. This needs pulling towards me. It's easier than it sounds. So that's one off. And this one. This is the other thing that needs to come off now. Normally you'd probably just be able to do that with your hands. But there we go. Because it's freezing. My hands are a bit numb. So, oh. so I just put that somewhere light so we can shut the door at least. And this is our lock that we need to change. Now I'm going to try and do something with this. Not holding up much up, but I'm going to try. So this is the lock and what it's doing, which is nothing. Now if you look in there, you can see the gates. And I can get to this side, but I can't get to the ones on this side. And I suspect that, well, I suspect that maybe it's got bent gates in it from someone trying to force it with a screwdriver. So I'm going to try and take it apart. Now, it doesn't look like it's really meant to come apart too well. But we need to take that E-clip off, take that arm off there, and this cover wants to come off too. So that's probably going to bend and screw up, but we'll try. So that bit's off. Now we'll try and take the front off. And the way I'm doing that is just by going around it with a screwdriver and opening up the, well, doing that. Right, so now we've got that off and we've got our lock with the front off and the back off. Putting the key in and turning it, we should be able to pull it out, but we won't be able to because the gates are bent. So I'm going to try anyway. Going up this now, it should be able to pull out, but I can't unlock it. So, I'll just try and just force it out or something. Yeah. Yeah, different key, like a different car. Well, that would have wouldn't it? Right, so this is what's happening because inside there, 
the gates which meet up with this bit of bent and you put the key and they're not pulling in all the way so there's not a whole lot i can do with that i mean it's cracked there as well so this is a bit of a bodge but what i can do is put the key in and then basically file these down so that at least the well with the key in it's not going to be the most secure lock, but it's not as it is, is it? So it's not going to be any worse. So I'm going to put the key in and then file these to the flat when the key's in. I'm not completely flat, but flat enough. Right, so what I've done here is, is I've filed the top of the gates down so that with the key in, it should be in enough to turn. So that goes in that orientation. And then now, Hopefully, oh, it turns. Then take the key out, and it doesn't turn. So it's looking as a lot, but it's only looking on probably about two of the gates. Not a bit more than that. So put this all back together, clip this back on, straighten up as good as we can, and put it back on car. So now it's all back together, um, ish, and we're going to put it back in. And it actually works, believe it or not. So that's well, that's exciting. Anyway, let's put it back in. First, we'll lovingly place it in there. Well, actually, first we should have moved this so we can get back in. That, like a Lamborghini. So we get this thing, and it slides back in there. So, now I do need to put a lock from the other side while doing this because that's not all the way in on that side, I don't think, but let's side. I oh, know we've got it, we've got it. So then we need to put our linkage back on, which is somewhere down there. So now while we're getting rained on, we need to put this back in. So this goes into that hole there, like that. And then this needs pulling like that there. So now the lock is in. All right, let's see if it actually works. Yes. Yes. How good's that? So now we've just got to put it back together. And uh, normally, I would stick this back on. But I'm just going to stick it back to what it'll stick to, which is... Well, that comes off. Decides to come off now, doesn't it? Right, this is the window winder. And normally, this is what I was trying to say before, you can just rag them off, which is effectively what I've just done, but I was trying to avoid doing that because it can knacker these up. But this, usually you pull this out. Uh, to put it back on, you just push it on. But to take it off, you usually got to hook this shitter out and then take it out, which is awkward, which is why we're, which is what we're avoiding, really, but it's done it itself. Anyway, as I was saying, this, I'm just going to stick back on with the sealant what's left on it um, because I ain't got any sealant on me. So it'll do better than now. And then we shall put this back on. So we've got a few of these that have fallen off. So we'll put these back on. And uh, uh, yeah, they're just clipping from the side, just slide them in like that. Like looking at the floor. So let's get it ready. All right, so let's put it back together. This wants to be put through there. And then we'll just line these up. Same with all the rest of them. Let's pull that out. And then we'll put our screws back in and our window winder back on. And if you take note where the other one's pointing, window's closed. This one's been pointing about the same way. There we go, and get our screws. Right, so all that's back on, all the clips are in, screws are in, got to put this on. Now this is broken, but it still fits. So that's it. So now we can actually have the luxury of, um, oh, not that way. Look at that. Here is fucking thought knocks that. And then to unlock it, you 
beautiful. I should probably give all that a quick dry and, you know, down there. Uh, but I'm just going to leave it to steam pot inside a window. Anyway, um, don't forget to uh, like, subscribe, ring the bell. Um, and, and that's the end, really. I mean, I've um, protected all my highly valuable assets. I mean, there's a bulb um, that I keep in the vehicle. There's an ice scraper. And now, you know, now hopefully it won't get rifled through and, and stolen. Um, so, yeah, it's worked. And uh, now I can lock my car. Happy days. See you next time.